Hi boys and girls, it's Mr. Wasman, and today we're going to be looking at liquid measurements and how to follow a recipe in a story problem. We're on page 302 and 303 in our math journal, so let's take a look at the number story setup. It says Mrs. Pye's fourth grade class is having a last day of school party that 28 people will attend in all. They plan to make their teacher's favorite punch. Now let's take a look at that first story problem that relates to this uh, recipe. It says the recipe only makes enough for six people. How much of each ingredient will be needed to make enough punch to serve all of the people at the party? So a couple things we need to look at. First of all, there are 28 people going to this party that is, I'm assuming, Mrs. Pye and all of her students. But over here it says that the recipe only serves six, meaning when you combine all these ingredients, it will be enough punch for six people. So what we need to do is we need to figure out how much we need to increase each ingredient so that we can serve 28 people. Well, we're going to start by creating a division problem. We need to know how many groups of six we can get out of 28. And that is because I would have to multiply uh, my ingredients by my quotient to figure out how many uh, times I have to increase each ingredient. So six goes into 28 four times because six times four is 24. And when I subtract the difference, I'm left with a remainder four sixths or remainder four. Now, I am not going to ask fourth graders to multiply a mixed number or fraction by another mixed number. And to be fair, when we are creating uh, any dish for a party, we always want to think ahead and plan just in case that we need a little bit more. So instead of uh, multiplying the recipe ingredients by four and four sixths, we're going to pick the next highest uh, whole number, and that would be 5. So what we need to do is we need to multiply each and every ingredient by 5. Okay, so let's take a look at the first ingredient, which is uh, orange juice. And the recipe calls for 1 and 1 fourth cup of orange juice. So in order for us to figure out how much orange juice we need to make enough punch for 28 people at least, we need to take the number 5 and we're going to multiply it by 1 and 1 fourth. So we've multiplied mixed numbers before, but basically what we want to do is we want to isolate each place value, 1 and 1 fourth times 5. So if I use partial products to solve this problem, I'm going to be multiplying 5 times 1, and then I'm going to be multiplying 5 times 1 fourth, and then adding my products together. Well, 5 times 1 is 5, of course, and then 5 times 1 fourth, I'm going to be multiplying just the numerator. So what that's going to do is I'm going to get 5 fourths as my fraction. Now, 5 plus 5 fourths gives me a wonky number of 5 and 5 fourths. Now this is not a mixed number because I have an improper fraction. And when I have an improper fraction as a part of a mixed number, I have to convert it. So I need to ask myself how many groups of 4 can I get out of 5? Or if I have fourths, if I were to separate 5 fourths into groups of whole numbers, how many wholes would I get? Well again, I do that by dividing my numerator, which here it is, 5, by my denominator, which is 4. How many groups of 4 can I get out of 5? Well, I can get 1, because 1 times 4 is 4, and 2 times 4 is 8, which is too big. So 5 take away 4 leaves me with 1 as my remainder, or 
1 fourth. So 5 fourths is the equivalent of 1 and 1 fourth. And then when I add that to my 5, 5 plus 1 and 1 fourth, that gives me a total of 6 and 1 fourth. So to increase the number of uh, cups of orange juice to make enough punch for f uh, five times the recipe, I'm going to need a total of six and one-fourth cups of orange juice. Now I would do the same thing for all the other ingredients. How many cups of lemon juice would I need? How many fluent ounces of pineapple juice, apple juice, and lemon lime soda? And that would give me uh, my total amounts for each ingredient. Okay, the whole number ounces problem should be pretty easy because skip counting by five should be second nature for a fourth grader at the end of their fourth grade year. So let's look at one other problem. Uh, I'm going to jump over to problem, well, the problems uh, four through seven are asking you to uh, describe whether or not the statements are true or false. And the important thing you need to know is that you are expected to explain how. Now, you could always just guess yes or no, or true or false, but how do you know if an answer is true? Well, you show the proof. Okay, so the, let's look at question number five. There is one-fourth cup more lemon-lime soda in the recipe than orange juice. So what I need to do is I need to look at two ingredients, the lemon-lime soda and the orange juice, and I'm going to compare. Okay, so to go back to the recipe, lemon-lime soda, they're calling for 12 fluid ounces. So 12 OZ. And orange juice, they're calling for one and one fourth cup. Now here's where it gets a little tricky. We have two different units of measurement for liquid here. Ounces and cups. So we need to convert one over to the other. So the question asks, is there or a statement says that there is one-fourth more cup of soda than there is orange juice. So what we really need to determine is how many cups of soda is 12 ounces. Well, it would be useful to know how many ounces go into a cup. And if you remember previous lessons, uh, we've learned that there are 8 ounces in a cup. So... I want to figure out how many groups of eight can I get out of 12. So what I have to do right now is I need to set up a division problem. Dividing 12 ounces into groups of eight. I can get one group of eight out of 12 because one times eight is eight. 12 minus eight leaves me four. 4 is too small. Uh, it's smaller than my divisor, so I know that I'm done. So my remainder is 4 eighths. So 12 ounces is the equivalent of 1 and 4 eighths cups of lemon lime soda. 1 and 4 eighths. Now, one more piece of business. We have two different denominators for our fractional parts, eighths and fourths. So I need to convert eighths into fourths. Now, I'll show you with a quick visual that when I have a rectangle, say, and I divide it into eight parts, like so. Four eighths would be represented like this. There's four eighths. Now, another way to think about four eighths 
is to think about it as two fourths because when I divide this rectangle again very sloppily with my black outline you can see that there are four parts to my rectangle and four eighths shaded in represents the same amount of space as two fourths. So another way of thinking about one and four eighths is to say that it is one and two fourths. So now we have like fractions, like denominators to compare. And of course, when I subtract one and two fourths minus one and one fourth, that is going to leave me just one fourth because two minus one is one, and one minus one gives me nothing. So let's reread the statement. There is one fourth more cup lemon lime soda in the recipe than orange juice. Well, as our calculations have shown us, that, my friends, is true. And that's how you would go about proving that these uh, statements are either true or false. Showing the work, demonstrating your knowledge of fractions, and uh, showing your logic. If you have questions about any of these statements, numbers 4 through 7, or any of the other problems on these two pages, reach out to your math teacher. Otherwise, we will talk again soon, friends. Thanks.